Hello, my dear students in grade 6. This is Ms. Munaya speaking to you. The aim of our session for today is to review context clues and explain new vocabulary depending on these clues. First, using context clues to determine meaning is a very important skill that every student should know. There are four types of context clues. Definition or restatement, authors or editors or writers usually define new words that they use in order to give readers an idea about it. The second type of context clues is using synonyms. Synonyms are words with similar meanings, but sometimes the author chooses an easier word to describe or to explain a word that is hard or difficult or new for readers. The third type of context clues is using antonyms, and by antonyms we mean opposite words. If I don't know the meaning of a word, but I know the opposite of it, in this case I can uh, directly understand the meaning of the difficult word I come across. The, third, the fourth and last type of context clues is an example or an explanation. If an author gives me an example of something, which is a hard word in the text, I can, from the example, understand the meaning of the hard or difficult or new word that I come across. Another way <clears throat> that can help me to identify the meaning of a new word is by giving me an explanation about it. Let's move on to the new words for this lesson and try to find their meanings by using context clues. The first word in our new lesson is the word journey. Odysseus is a hero from Greek stories famous for his journey home to his family from the Trojan War. If somebody is on a journey, he was at the, he went to the war and now he's on a journey back home to his family. What does this mean about the word journey? What does it mean? So, I can understand from the sentence that the word journey means traveling or going on a trip. A long trip from one place to another. Let's move on to the second word. Mulan is a hero from Chinese stories. She is famous for taking her father's job as a soldier. She did not have strength, but she was a good soldier because of her intelligence. She used her brains to help the army win. If I read this short paragraph carefully, I can understand from the uh, last sentence that uh, Mulan was very smart. How did I know that? The last sentence explains the meaning of the word intelligence. Let's move on to the third word. James Bond is a hero from British uh, stories who fights bad guys. In every James Bond movie, there is always a moment where we see him struggling hard to beat the bad guys. He is a good fighter and always wins. What does the word struggling mean and how can I use context clues to find its meaning? If I read the paragraph carefully, the short paragraph carefully, there are two clues. The first word is hard and the uh, second one is um, the whole sent the whole context itself so if i if somebody is struggling hard to beat the bad guys what does this mean it means he's trying but he's having difficulty with it to struggle means to try hard to do something to try by exerting a lot of effort okay let's move on to the next one iron man is a superhero I'm sure you all know, he is known for the power from his metal suit. In each adventure, he helps people get out of dangerous situations. What does dangerous mean? Have you ever seen Iron Man in a good situation where he's happy and cool about the things he has to do? Or he's always trying hard in order to save people whose lives are at risk or whose lives are full of, uh, or people who find themselves in uh, situations full of danger. So, from this uh, context, or from this uh, short uh, uh, 
sentences about Iron Man, I can understand that danger, dangerous means full of danger or risky situations, situation that cause threats to people's lives. Let's move on to the next word. Bilbo Baggins, the hero of the story The Hobbit, succeeds in returning the stolen gold to his friend Thorin. If you've read the story, you would know that he is the main character. He goes to extreme lengths in order to uh, fulfill that goal. And when I say he succeeds in returning the stolen gold to his friend, it means he manages to do that action successfully. Here the keyword is returning. So he, he manages to return the stolen gold. To succeed in doing something means to manage how to do it correctly. <clears throat> Let's move on to the next word. Goku is a Japanese manga hero. He is known for his strength. He uses his strength to bring people to safety and create peace. What clues tell me about the meaning of the word safety? First, I know the other word that is that I'm familiar with. Safe means, safe is part of the word, and I know the meaning of the word safe. So safety here means the state of being safe. Another keyword in the text or in the sentence is the word peace. So if I, I know that all around me there's peace, I, it means that there's no danger whatsoever so let's move on to the next word king arthur is one of britain's most famous heroes i'm sure you all know the story of king arthur and his famous sword excalibur he had a mentor merlin look at the way the author uses the context clues in this uh, sentence to explain the meaning of the word introduced in the second sentence, Merlin was a wise man who taught King Arthur how to be a king and how to be a man. So the second sentence uses context clues or an explanation in order to explain the meaning of the word mentor. So I can understand from these sentences that a mentor is a wise man. <clears throat> Look at the picture in front of you. Arthur is the one holding the sword and Merlin is the old man dressed in blue. If I just look at Merlin, I would understand that he is an old man who has lots of experience and lots of wisdom because of his years. And that's and a mentor should be old and wise because he has a lot of experience to back up his uh, years and trials or experiences he goes through. Let's move on to word number eight. Percy Jackson is a hero from an American book. I'm not sure if you're familiar with the movie Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. Uh, Lightning Thief. This is one of the uh, uh, new movies that I think you would be attracted to because it talks about a young uh, boy or a young uh, man just like you are, my dear students. And in the movie, Percy is affected by so many factors, one of which is the death of his mother because um, when his mother dies in the movie, he is deeply changed or deeply affected. What is the clue in the sentence that tells me about the meaning of the word affected? The keyword is the word changed, which is almost a synonym for the word affected. So if something affected me, it means it has changed me in a certain way. Let's move on, please, to the word, to the next, to the last two words. Jim Hawkins, uh, Hawkins is the young hero of the story Treasure Islands. Jim helps the good guys find the gold hidden on an island and returns it to its owner. <clears throat> what does uh, the word treasure mean? What are the clues in the sentence that helps you to find the meaning of the word treasure? The keywords are 
the gold that is hidden on the island. So I can understand from this sentence that the word treasure refers to valuable stuff such as gold, silver, and jewelry, which is usually uh, hidden by uh, people so that nobody would steal it. As for the last word, Robin Hood is a British hero who helps the poor at every opportunity. Whenever he can, he steals money from the rich and gives it to the poor. What does the word opportunity mean? And how can I find the meaning from this short context that I have? If you look closely at the picture, uh, at the uh, second sentence in the example, whenever he can, this is an example of what does the author mean by every opportunity so when i read it i can directly understand that whenever he can is the uh, meaning of the word or uh, gives me an idea about the meaning of the word opportunity which means chance yani at every chance he gets he always helps the poor <clears throat> After you watch, uh, you finish watching the video, you can practice using these words by solving exercise or activity 2, page 135 on your comprehension copybooks. Thank you.